Tomorrow's only the second person to knock out Masvidal. Um, and Rose is the first female to ever I guess it's never been done before, so. Congrats to all of them. What a week, what a night. What's up? Yeah, I was gonna say, I mean, I'm sure you'll wanna kind of decompress, right? I mean, this card was amazing on its own, but then to be the first one back, I mean, how do you sum up everything that, that happened tonight, just how you feel at the moment? Yeah, it was an amazing night. I think, um, man. Oh, sorry, yeah, I, huh? Just with your hands, Okay, I, uh, <laughs> I felt uh, I felt it yesterday too that the, that, that the um, at the weigh-ins and uh, at the fighter meeting felt felt weird felt different at the fighter meeting yesterday and, and uh, you know these these guys came out tonight and performed from the first fight of the night to the main event and obviously the fans were absolutely insane it was it was it was really I mean we had this conversation I've talked to some of you personally about it. And, and I've talked to you guys, you know, about it. But um, there's just a different energy you get when people are here. And tonight was insane. Yeah. Um, we got a lot to talk about in terms of fights, but Chris Weidman, uh, what's the latest with him? Do you have any medical updates on him? He's stable right now, and he'll have surgery in the morning. Good. Jimmy, Jimmy Crude as well, I mean, was that one of those weird ones with the nerve, or did he maybe ligament? I mean, there yeah, was no, I don't think that's a nerve. I think, yeah, I think he blew his knee. He, there's something wrong. Listen, I'm no doctor, but yeah, his knee, his knee is not right. right. Let's talk about Kamaru Usman. As you said, just an absolutely amazing performance from him tonight. I don't think anybody saw the fight ending that way. Just what are your thoughts on him? And he's saying, hey, I'm pound for pound number one. I mean, are you looking at him as, as that as well? Yeah, but listen, I, I think we can all agree. No matter how you, how you feel, you know, the, the, the guy's getting booed in there tonight. He's one of the best ever, and he's on his way to probably being the greatest of all time. I mean, the, the, the guy is an absolute stud. He looks better every time he comes out. You know, these people talk about him being boring. You're an idiot. You're an idiot if you think this guy's boring. He hasn't been in a boring fight in a while, and, uh, you know, he changed after he did that whole I only gave 30% tonight thing. He's been a different, a, a different human being ever since the RDA fight. Uh, Colby Covington was in the building. Does that seem like the fight to make now? I mean, obviously the history there. It's the fight to make. Yeah, he's the number one guy in the world. And, uh, you know, Usman's thing was, I, I didn't want, I, he didn't want him to be the backup. Um, he's like, I, I want Maswell, and I want a camp, and I'll take him again. And, you know, like, I'm going to start lapping these guys. But for him to really cement your legacy, you know, when you go in and you beat the guys who are looked at as the best, in the world at that time, and you beat them twice, and you beat them convincingly. You know, it's it's all just part of cementing that legacy that that this guy's going to end up having someday. Can you get your thoughts on Rose? Obviously, an incredible win for her, and then emotional scenes. I mean, Joe Rogan's in there crying. I mean, what, what were your thoughts on just the whole thing? Tonight was special, man. Tonight was a special night um, in so many different ways. Um, you know, monumental for us to be back first. Um, and uh, yeah, it was just, it was a big night, and everybody fought like it was a big night. Yeah, that division strawway is so deep with with amazing fighters. Do you see a, a clear cut number one contender for Rose, or is this one that we're gonna have to kind of figure out what what makes sense? Listen, obviously the rematches, you know, that, that's a fun fight, and I think a lot of people will be excited about that fight. But you know, I don't make fights the night of the fight, but I'm just saying off the top of my head, yeah. that makes a lot of sense. Last thing on fights, Valentina, I mean, I think we're running out of superlatives to describe how good she is. I mean, what, what can you say about Valentina? It's almost like, tell me if this is how you felt tonight when she was fighting. Like, she was pissed. Like, she was mad that anybody could, because I, I love this fight, because I knew Jessica Andrade was going to show something that she hasn't seen yet, and she was going to be in her face, and she was going to do this, and she was going to do that. And it's like, she was like a fucking demon tonight. Pissed off that anybody believed that that, that that was possible and she looked incredible. You know, it was one of the one of the best performances of her career. Yeah, it was. And so everybody's saying, look, the only person that she could po that could possibly beat her is Amanda Nunes, but I mean they're in different weight classes. I'm just I'm curious, do you, I mean, is that a, an appealing fight to you or do you feel like they should have their own kind of legacies? Yeah, their own legacies. Listen, they fought a couple times, you know, um, you know, people can think whatever they want. There's always somebody else coming up, there's always a new contender. And it's not Valentina's fault that she's, you know, one of the all-time baddest women on this planet. So, um, 
making her move up to 135 pounds just doesn't doesn't make sense. They did it twice. Yeah. Listen, if they both come to me and they both want to do it, and whatever, then, then, then you know I'll make it happen. But it's not something I'm thinking about. We almost got Daniel Cormier out of retirement tonight to, uh, to fight <laughs> Jake, Jake Paul. I'm just curious uh, what you thought about that whole spectacle. I mean, the crowd was chanting Jake 